Hey everybody, I'm Jody Kendall and I'm the author of these two books, The Unlikely Story of a Pig in the City and Dog Days in the City. These are both middle grade novels and I live in New York City and one of the things I love about living in New York City are the amazing buildings and skyscrapers that are here. So I thought today we could paint and draw my favorite, favorite building in New York. It's called the Chrysler Building. So here's what it looks like. This is um, a picture that I did a while back and it's known for its art deco style. It took two years to build, and at one point the Chrysler building was the tallest building in the world. And what's really cool about it is it's just simple shapes coming together. So we're gonna draw this. It has lots of curved lines, and see there's triangles and squares, and it has this big, long, pointy top. Here's what the Chrysler building looks like in real life. So you can see it's got the the shapes there and the spire at the top. And here's what it looks like in the whole city. See? And it's really, really fun to draw. I like to paint it afterwards, so I thought today we could make a little card that you can send to your friends and family. And all you need to get started is get a piece of paper and get a pen, all right? You can also use a pencil if you want. If you have any paints, that's great. We can do a little paint at the end, but if you just wanna use a pen and paper, that's fine. I cut mine into a smaller shape, but if you wanna use a big paper, that's okay too. So gather your materials, get your paper, get your pen, and let's get started. Here, start at the bottom here, okay? And it's all right if you do fun little squiggles. I like it when it goes long and like a little squiggle. So it doesn't have to be exact, you can play with it. All right, so I like to start at the bottom here. This is gonna be the bottom of the building. And we're just gonna kind of make a little archway like that, all right? And it doesn't have to go perfectly down. I kind of like doing little squiggles. They almost look like little tails. Because I'm doing this one-handed, I also tape down the paper here. But as you can see, we're starting with this part right here, all right? So we've got that and the triangles later. Kind of go up and it's gonna get a little taller each time. Okay, you see that there? We're gonna do another one. It's gonna be skinny, tall, arch it, and down. And now we're getting close to the edge of the building. So the building also kind of has this little section over here, almost like half a rainbow. We're gonna bring it down. And then we're gonna have it go like this. Kind of make another little shape here. And then this is gonna be like this, all right? Kind of fun to add those little squiggles down. So this is the bottom part of our building. Now we're gonna be working off the top to build it taller and create that spiral up the top, okay? So at the top, it kinda of has these little sections here. What do you think those look like? Little, little rainbows almost. So we do a little one and then we do a big one. And in the big ones, it's gonna get start to get smaller and smaller. So see how this is wider? We're gonna get smaller and smaller. So we did our big one to our little rainbows. All right, and you can also kind of do those cute little fun swiggles in there. That's kind of cool. We're gonna do a big one, getting bigger and taller, skinnier. There's our little rainbows. All right, see that's what it's looking like? And see, it's okay if it's not all totally even too. You can always kind of like make it over like this to make it build taller. It's a little bit trickier because I'm drawing this as I'm holding my phone. But you know what, I kind of like that it's not perfect and even. Now when you get to the top here, it's getting real skinny, we're just gonna make one big one right there. And then we're gonna kind of have it like this. All right, now is when we get to kind of do our cool, make it tall and skinny. All right, so it's a lots of just simple shapes. So there's our building. Now we're gonna fill it in with the triangles. So you know what, let's just start at the top here. We'll go on the top on the way down. So the top is all the triangles, see? We're gonna just do triangles that follow the curve and then we're doing squares. So here, this part is not gonna have one. It's gonna be the starting in these parts right here. So we're gonna do two little triangles, color them in like that. Small triangle, big triangle, small. See? They're gonna follow the edge of the curve. Again, they don't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be totally perfect lines. 
it's kind of fun when you play around with it. Do your own thing. All right, so we're gonna fill all those in. See, it's coming together. Now, these are gonna be a mix. We're gonna do squares down here, and at the top, we're gonna to follow our triangle thing here. So we can still fill in our triangles. You can make them as filled in as you want. You could try colors. That's kind of cool. Especially if you're not gonna paint it, you could do this in colored pencil or crayon. And now down here, these are gonna be more squares, all right? So, these are squares. So we're gonna fill these in with squares all the way around. All right, and this is what it looks like at the end. So you see, you just got your squares and your triangles. We built it tall. So you could just do your card like this and write you know, a message here, do a little signature and mail the card. You could color it with crayons or colored pencils. And I'm gonna do a little paint. So if you have paints, go grab them. This is the paints that I'm gonna to use today. These are watercolors. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I watercolor. You could really paint your building whatever you want. I kinda of like to use blues and grays, all right? So first I kind of take some of that darker gray. With watercolor, you don't always know how it's gonna look on the page, but let's give it a go. Now again, you don't have to stay in the lines. I kind of like to go like this, and then look, you can pull the color down. You can pull the color around in these different little boxes. And if it feels too thick, you can pull down in different ways here. You can add a little more water. I'm just sort of lightly doing around, there's no real rhyme or reason to this. It's just the way I like to see it. Like that. It'll dry a little bit lighter. Color, you can take a little paper towel and like dab up a little bit and try different effects by dabbing it if you want. I added a little blue here. I like it when they mix. I think that looks kind of cool too. And I like now that the lines come down and I like it to fall down a little bit too. Cause this building's a lot taller than it looks on, on here. We're just doing that top part. You can kind of mix your colors. So paint it the way you like with the colors you like. For skyscrapers, I like, you know, especially if they're silver, the blues and the grays. Different color, maybe a brighter blue. And paint in those little rainbows that we did. And you can emphasize just different elements of the building. Maybe a little bit down the spire there. Here's what I got. What I really like to do at the end is do like a good splatter. So I'm going to get my brush super wet. I'm gonna pick some of this blue. I'm gonna make it a little bit. And then you gotta have a lot of water and I splatter it. Get it everywhere, make cool marks. Just like that. So there you go. There's a little skyscraper card. You can mail this to someone. Um, I like to sometimes write cute little things like sky's the limit our little phrases at the top and on the back you can write a little special note to someone that you love and care about. So I hope that you had fun drawing the Chrysler building with me today. If you tag me in your photos on social media, have your parent do that or your guardian or whoever you live with, your babysitter, maybe who's watching you this week and helping out with school, um, tag me. So my Instagram account is Jody underscore Kendall. My Twitter handle is the same. I will send this card to a random person who tweets me or posts on my Instagram about the skyscraper who sends me a picture maybe of one that their children draw or paint. And I can't wait to see the different ways that you color it in and use your creativity with all the different colors and options and have fun with the shapes. And I can't wait to see what you do. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for doing art with me today.